Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Tanner and today I'm talking about the Invader 2 thirds by Tesla Sigs. Uh, I just recently got this mod and uh, wanted to check it out. Uh, it's a lot of people are comparing this to the hex ohm and kind of saying this is a cheaper alternative to the hex ohm if you don't want to uh, drop the money to purchase one of these they, these are rather expensive um, you might be able to check out the tesla sig two-thirds um, but uh, with that we're going to get into it and see if this is actually a replacement or if uh, you should just save up your money and get the hex ohm so this is the packaging that my tesla sigs came in Right there on the bottom it shows the potentiometer it says powerful invader two-thirds and simplistic on the back you've got your scratch authenticity code your all of your information that actually comes inside the package you've got a warranty card user manual your uh, device cover and then the actual device itself pretty simple packaging Inside the pack, you do get a user manual, a certification card. Below that, you do have your Invader 2 thirds. As well as below that, finally below that, you have this back cover that you can replace. Uh, the one that comes on it holds two batteries. This one will hold a third 18650 and I'll slide on so you have a little bit more voltage, a little more power for this puppy to work. Okay, so this is 42 millimeters there at, there at its widest point there. It is 85 millimeters tall, 50 millimeters wide right there. Kind of 35 on these kind of angles. These angles right here are kind of 35 millimeters long kind of hard to see but uh, there it is right there uh, this is composed mostly of a zinc alloy this is a die cast model um, it does have these little fake carbon fiber-esque uh, panels right here um, but other than that the complete body the complete body is zinc alloy weighs about 200 grams so it is a hefty little mod uh, if you like lighter mods, this uh, with the three batteries in it's probably not going to be for you, but that is subjective. Uh, it has a voltage range of 3 to 8 volts and a maximum output of 60 amps. Uh, you're going to want to use uh, coils on here between 0.1 resistance and 0.3 resistance. Um, I haven't had any trouble out of using uh, higher than that, but uh, that is the preferred. So right here, you've got your fire button, pretty simple and very clicky, very responsive as well. Right here, you have your potentiometer, which goes one, two, three, four, and five. That's going to try to uh, choose the different voltage that you want. Has this little blue LED indicator to show you what's going on with the mod. Right there on the bottom, maximum resistance of, I'm sorry minimum resistance of 0.1 ohms and then design and manufacture by telesigs invader 2.3 max 240 watts to 360. Uh, right here at the bottom of the battery door you do have some battery ventilation there and there um looks wise i like it it says invader two thirds right there um, I like the looks of this mod. Um, I prefer it with the two doors, not really the th or the with the two battery, not really with the three, which I'll show you that now. It uh, it really is just about identical. Um, they both have the same little battery ventilation there and there, and uh, it works good. Uh, I like it. I haven't used it with the extra battery tray, but I really like it with the two. To get into this mod, uh, it does just slide the battery door off like this. It holds two 18650s. 
There's two gold-plated spring-loaded pins right there at the top. It's pretty uh, easy to see your positive and negative and negative and positive. Nice little battery tag says Tesla SIGs. I really like that. It's a nice little touch. Uh, we're going to put some batteries in here and get this powered up and you'll see what that looks like. There's not much to go over with this mod just because it is so simple. Going to slide this battery door back. Gonna slide this battery door back on. It clicks into place. And then this thing has no rattle whatsoever. It is five clicks to turn on. One, two, three, four, five. You're gonna see that blue light indicator right there. And this is going to light up while you are uh, using it. And then it's going to give you three lights whenever your batteries are going below 50%. And then you'll need to charge once you get below 20% because you're not going to be getting enough voltage. Right here at the top, there is your 510. It is very springy down in there. It has a nice spring. I would say it's about average resistance right there. Uh, because this is 42 here at the width, at the widest spot, you are going to be able to get larger um, RDAs on here. But really the only one that I've used with this so far is the drop dead. Uh, and this, I believe, is a 24, 25 millimeter. And you can see that comes almost to the edge right there so you're not going to want to use uh your larger like 30 millimeters or anything like that they're really going to be hanging over the edge you have a lot more room to go this way um i really wish that that 510 was more centered up so you could put the larger atomizers on here but uh that's just personal preference so with it being five clicks on and five clicks off, it's pretty simple. Right here with it having your potentiometer, this is going to go from one to five, and this is just for voltage regulation. So it's gonna go from three volts to eight volts, and you can kind of pinpoint in exactly where you want it to be at. Um, I've kind of found the sweet spots to kind of be at like a 3.2, 3.3, that's kind of where I like it. But uh, this thing's gonna come in a few different colors. I personally have seen red, black, and silver, but uh, I prefer the silver most definitely. It's kind of this matte finish, so you're not gonna get a lot of uh, fingerprints or anything on this. Uh, it's pretty nice. So uh, that's it for the close-ups, guys. Let's bring this back up top and vape on it. So guys, today we're talking about the Invader 2 Thirds. It's a, it's a pretty little mod. Um, so far, I've liked it. Um, if you notice, I'm doing things a little differently today. Um, this is actually my live streaming camera. Um, I've never used this camera for uh, recording a video before other than live streaming. So um, it's going to be a little, little different today. Uh, if you want to see any of my live streams, you can check me out on Twitch. The same name is on Instagram and everything like that. Uh, I'll have links down below. Uh, that's where I'm really doing live streams are to uh, Facebook and Twitch. Today we're vaping on the two-thirds. And I'm going to be vaping on the big Wildberry Limeade. Uh, this is from Dr. Vapes. And uh, I've actually really enjoyed this. I got sent these just recently for review and uh i'll be doing a review on these very soon we've got five different flavors and uh we're gonna be testing those out and i'll tell you what i think about them but uh so with this mod um the best thing that i have to compare it to would be the hex ohm uh the only difference is you know this hex ohm is gonna run you 199 dollars to where uh, this Tesla SIG you're gonna be able to get for around 30 bucks. Uh, that's kind of crazy being $30, but uh, we're gonna find out if it's actually worth it because even with it being $30, that doesn't mean that it's a good vape that you should spend your $30 on. There's a lot of new stuff out on the market where $30 can get you quite a bit of stuff. Uh, or should you just save up your money and buy a Hexom? Because I love my Hexom. Uh, review for that coming out very soon but uh okay so we've got it right now at four the potentiometer what that is is it's going to kind of judge your voltage that's pulling from the batteries 
on a scale of you know one to a hundred they set it on one to five so each one's gonna kind of represent 20 percent um, all the way up to 100% of the voltage that can come through this thing, which is 8 volts. So I've got two 18650s in here. Um, if you want to knock it up a little higher, you can add on that third one. But uh, like I said, I haven't used that yet. But uh, So we've got it at 4 currently, and we're going to see some of the clouds that we can get off this thing. See, at 4, that's a very, very hot vape. Um, if you're not used to just straight voltage, uh, you might want to dial it back a little bit. This is a good cheap way to get introduced to just voltage mods. Um, I think I'm going to take it back to that uh, 3.2. That kind of seems to be where I like it at. Um, whenever it's cooler, um, I turn it up a little bit more to heat up those coils a little bit faster. But then once they've uh, gotten to where I want them to be on the temperature range, I kind of just move it right back down so we're gonna hit it one more time I've got it at uh, three and a quarter Woo! <laughs> so this thing will hit very very hard if you're looking for a mod that's going to hit hard this thing right here this thing right here is not going to disappoint um, I've, I've seen a few reviews out there talk about this and uh, everyone's talking about how hard this thing hits and it really does. If you have a good RDA on this device, you're going to be able to get some really large clouds. Um, I've been using my Hexone for about three months now. I love it. I haven't done a review on it because I want it to put it through its paces before I give a full review if you're going to uh, be spending that much money on it. This, on the other hand, at $32, uh, I mean, you don't eat lunch one day and you can buy this mod, get into the potentiometer world. Uh, I think that this is worth it. For $30, you're getting a good mod that is, it looks classy, it looks clean, it's comfortable in the hand. Um, I think, honestly, Whenever I go out anywhere, I normally take either a pod mod or something like my drag. Uh, I don't ever really take like this big box um, just because I have to drip. Having to drip is really annoying. There's a right there is my Snow Wolf Squonk. I enjoy taking that out because it is a squonk. You just push the little bottle and you've got more juice. This, I actually wouldn't mind using as like a beater. Taking it out into the world, if I drop this, it's not going to hurt my feelings very much. Um, as to like if I drop the snow wolf, that's, that's going to hurt my feelings. Um, but with a good RDA on this, it's going to last you. And you only spent $30 on it. I think if you're looking to get into the world of just a voltage mod... I would point you in this direction and then if you like it go more towards the hexome um do i think that this replaces this no no and uh here in about a week you'll see my review on this which will explain why i don't think that this mod replaces that one uh yeah So, if you haven't seen my review for the Drop Dead, it'll be linked in one of these corners and in the show notes down below, and you can check that out. Um, it's a great RDA. It's my favorite RDA of 2018. And it already having these two very massive coils in there. It's kind of hard to... It's kind of hard to see. But already having those two massive coils in there um, heat, off, heat up and give a lot of really, really great flavor. Um, having that attached to a mod that hits as hard as this does, it's really, really nice. Um, I've used this on a few other mods, like just wattage um, instead of regular voltage, or even on right here behind me, I've got these two mech mods sitting here. I used this on that mech mod for a while with a single coil, and uh, it, it doesn't give off what this Tesla SIG does.
<clears throat> so, do I think you should buy the Tesla SIG? I think if you're looking to get into a potentiometer, I would point you in this direction because for $30, you're getting a great mod that's going to last you. I believe that these have a pretty decent warranty on them. I know I haven't had any problems out of it, but it does come with a manufacturer's warranty, which is pretty great. Uh, the potentiometer, I think that this is a very good potentiometer. The button is very, very clicky. And uh, it's been exactly, you know, you're not going to worry about this potentiometer turning or anything. Once you stick your fingernail down in that little arrow, turn it to what you want it to. I haven't had it move since then, and I've thrown this thing around all over the place. So, coming back to the video, uh, I think that Tesla SIGs did a great job with uh, their potentiometer right here and the button. And the looks of this thing, it's very ergonomic in the hand. Uh, I think that with the third battery added in, it's a little too big. Um, it almost makes it identical Bebo right here. Um, and you can see it's, as you can see, it's much smaller now, but adding in that battery, it makes it almost identical to the size of this right here, which I don't use this. This is a little beater mod that I have. I think that this is too big. It's very comfortable but it's, it's too big. I don't, I haven't found a three battery mod that has just sold me that I've been like, I have to have it. I like my dual 18650s, um, my captain that's got two 2700s. I love those mods. But having three 18650s in there, it's just, it's a little too much for me. Pros and cons, pros, this is a great little beater mod that's $30, $31, $35. I'll have some links down below on where I've seen this mod for sale. Uh, pro, this thing hits like a fucking jackhammer. It does hit very, very hard. Um, and compared to the Hexome, I would say it's, it's probably 70% of how hard the Hexome will hit, this thing will hit, which is very, very impressive for a $30 mod. Um, cons along with that it's a potentiometer this thing only does voltage that could be a con for you it could be a pro for you for me starting out that was a con until i learned to love my hex home then i started looking into this thing for 30 bucks hell yeah i'll take it so who is this for this is for the vapor that's looking to get into a potentiometer a voltage regulated mod and doesn't want to spend a lot of money that's essentially what this mod is for um, it's going to get you introduced into the uh, voltage world. Um, you're only going to be using an RDA with this. Do not use a tank for safety reasons. Um, just because this right here and this right here, those two things do not go together. Don't use them. You can. Um, because this is a regulated, unregulated mod, uh, it does have some safety features in it to keep it from exploding and becoming uh, dangerous. But I would never mix those two. Same with like, I would never mix it with like a mech mod or anything like that. Um, just for safety reasons. Uh, but yeah, guys, thanks for coming along in this video. Uh, if you like it like this uh, with my uh, streaming cam, I've never done a video on YouTube like this before. So if you like this let me know down below if you want. I can always go back to my big camera, which will probably be on the next few uh, once I see the image quality with this one. But uh, thanks for coming along, guys.